Long before Donald Trump brought up illegal immigration, Dennis Michael Lynch had already produced three films about it. He showed us how it was hurting our country and that no one in D.C. was doing anything about it. He exposed the politicians' lies and the media's bias. Well, thank you, Michelle. The truth is, my three films couldn't get distribution. They were racist. So without any Hollywood or cable distribution, my only option was a DVD share program. If a person bought a DVD, just one, I'd send them up to five free copies. I wanted them to hand them out. And so within months, hundreds of thousands of DVDs were being shared throughout all 50 states. And then I doubled down by making another film, They Come to America 2. I have uh, a truck full of Mexicans, a truck full of Chinese, and a truck full of Islamic terrorists. What truck do you not want entering the United States? Chinese. I think President Obama believes that there are Chinese coming over the border through Mexico. I don't know. I, and I, I'm not certain, and that is where we made this away. I'm not certain how, effect, uh, how much we have to fear Chinese coming across the border. In this part of the world, we don't have a lot of tourist attractions, but this is one of them. This is an emergency distress beacon. And uh, most people find it curious that it's in three languages, English, Spanish, and Chinese. And since the last time we were out here, they've uh, even been so nice as to uh, add a uh, uh, five-gallon bucket of water. Courtesy of the United States government. This has been here at least a couple of years. I have a question for you. Why do you think that sign should be down along the border in Texas, written in English, written in Spanish, and in Chinese? The government made that, Congressman. Our government? Yes. I mean, you've been in Congress for 22 years, right? Right. Okay. Has anybody ever showed you that picture before? No. Nobody's no. ever, no. nobody in Congress, nobody's no. ever gone to one of your hearings and said, look at this picture. No. No. We know they're coming in here. We caught a hodgepodge group back out here, 16, had two Asian girls, Chinese, uh, they both spoke English. They both of them paid 50000 each to come in here. No oh, yeah. Then we had, uh, and in that same group, we had uh, at least three or four Indians and uh, a couple of Pakistanis. How would you describe President Obama's attitude toward the war on terror? I would say it's very schizophrenic. We cannot look back years from now and wonder why we did nothing in the face of real threats to our security and our economy. Shortly after President Obama's State of the Union address, his administration allowed 2,000 of the most dangerous illegal aliens detained in U.S. prisons to be released into the general public. The White House blamed this on looming budget cuts that would not take effect for another 30 days. I sent an email to the Department of Homeland Security in which I asked if the funding to detain 2,000 criminals was no longer available, why not release Americans whose sentences were coming to a close in the near future? I did not receive a reply. Day and night, I worked alongside with the Border Patrol. We caught drug dealers and gang members and illegal aliens from the Middle East. And when that finished, I headed back to Arizona where things had only gotten worse. The little pink two-story house is surveilling the border 24 hours a day. This is the Border Patrol's access to the border. And is that why we have three Border Patrol right there? Yes. And is this a crossing right there? The port of entry is just right in front of us there. All right, can we go up there? Yeah. So all those kids just went to school in Naco, America. And now they're gonna go back to Naco, Mexico. How does that happen? All you need is a P.O. box. Nobody checks it. And if you don't reside in the country, you don't have any business going to our schools unless you pay tuition, and none of them are paying tuition. And I'm gonna go. Okay. Naco's border the NACLA station has 32.6 or 7 miles of border. So, would you estimate there's probably 200 vehicles there? Yeah. I don't understand why we have so many vehicles, that, you know, parked at the station. 
I've asked this question for years, and, and I never get an answer. Never get an answer. In the last 22 months, we've had 43 full-size trucks full of marijuana come across this border, cutting the wall. They cut it at ground level, lays it on the ground, they drive trucks in. Same place all the time. They know where they're coming, and they still get away. A pickup full of marijuana is worth a million bucks. So we've had $43 million go through this ranch. Nobody stops them. Nobody stopped it. You get the drones up there, you got the satellites, you got all the, you got the radar, you got the new cameras, you got the border patrol station over there. How is that happening? I, I don't understand it. I haven't been caught. This is absolutely the worst it's been for 23 years. Now, to pour salt on the wound. At the same time I was in Arizona, ABC News was a few miles away filming the same exact area. Roll the tape. The Border Patrol has more agents than ever, nearly 22,000, 651 miles of fence, 125 airplanes, and six drones patrolling the Mexican frontier, making a successful illegal crossing more difficult than ever. People who are debating about whether or not we should start immigration reform say we have to wait until the border is secure. What do you say to that? I would say then we're ready to start right now because the border is secure. Really? This is why America is so misinformed about so many things and why I am doing Unfiltered with you. When we come back, the fundamental change of America. I feel that our country and the future of our children have officially fallen off the cliff based on what I have seen.